Welcome to the VIP room inside the Soul Lounge. I am the Lady DJ, Shauna Renee, and I have a guest who has traveled all the way from Japan to be here with us. Now, Yoshioka. Hello. How are you? I'm did I get good. that right? Yes. I did. That okay, was good. <laughs> I'll call you now. Is that okay? Yes. Welcome to the Soul Lounge. Thank you so so much for having me. I am I, I'm so excited to have you here for for a few reasons because I, I'm I'm glad that the television audience mm -hmm. gets to see you because I think in a few minutes they're gonna be very surprised at what yeah. they hear from you. Mm -hmm. When I first <laughs> got a hold to your album, which was released November thirteenth, yes. uh The Light. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you the so much. A phenomenal album. When I, I shared it with friends, I said, okay, don't look at the cover. Just listen to the voice. They had no idea that you were this petite, beautiful Japanese woman. They thought, oh, this must be, you know, some sister who grew up in the church singing these beautiful soul songs. I, I just wonder, where where did that come from? Where is that influence from? It's, this is so unusual. Oh, do you did you grow up listening to soul music? Yes, but I grew up in Japan, Osaka, and um, my sister was a big fan of international music. So I grew up uh, when I grew up, I listening to Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey, Alicia Keys, Mary J. Blige, and um, I really love the movie Sister Act, mm. and it was my first time to listen to the gospel. And I, it's it's blew me away, and I became a big fan of soul music. But um, my my biggest influence is, uh, I moved to New York City. I lived in New York City for two and a half years when I was twenty one years old, and um, at that time I I was struggle and I stopped singing for two two, two years, and um, that's why I went to New York City to change my life, and I I. Um, encounter a song called A Change Is Gonna Come by Sam Cooke. Mm. And when I heard that song first time, and the song was talking about my life. And um, every time I sing that song, the song gave me so much power and saved me from the dark place. So then I realized, wow, music is not just a music. Music has a power to change the people's life. Mm -hmm. So I decided to sing the soul music because of the, I, I was the one who saved my mu uh, soul music. Oh, wow. Wow. So what is it about soul music? I think everyone has a different connection to mm -hmm. it. Is it the sound? Is it the feeling? Is it the, are there the lyrics? Mm -hmm. what, what draws you to this type of music? Uh, for me, soul music is like a life medicine. Mm -hmm. It's... For me, um, the lyrics is so simple, like a change is going to come. And but it's it's um, because of the some cook been through hard time, too. So I could feel his heart and I could feel his um, pain, but like and hope through his music. So so music is about, um, I think, um, <sighs> it's it's dif difficult to describe. Mm. So music about the life, I think, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. their life, mm -hmm. life story. So you say you moved to New York City. This was what, like around 2010? Oh, yes, yeah. 2009, 10, yeah. Why New York City versus any other city in the U.S. or any other place in the world? I don't know why. Just uh, maybe I was a big fan of Alicia Keys. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and I watched uh, Alicia Keys has a DVD, live DVD, and I watched that DVD a lot. And um, I just thought I stopped singing for two years in Osaka, and I, I was thinking like, how can I, how can I do with live without the music? And uh, but uh, there is nothing in in Osaka, <laughs> so okay, mm, America, mm, New York. That's it. <laughs> yeah. What'd your family say when you told them you were going to New York? Oh, when I was a teenager, I'd been through the hard time. I stopped. I mean, I couldn't go to the school and I couldn't go out the house. So my mother was so happy to do something new. Mm. And I, she was so excited and she was support, 
supporting me so much. Did you come by yourself? Yes. All by yourself? Yes. <laughs> and I didn't speak English at all. Wow. Like, so I how <laughs> how'd you how'd you do that? How'd you survive? Were you able to meet up with a, a group of, of folks that helped you or or did you just kind of do it alone? Because eventually, and we're going to get to this in a second, you ended up on stage at the Apollo. Mm-hmm. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But, <laughs> how, you know, did you have a group of people that were helping you? Or? No, I went to, to New York by myself and I tried to, to, to find a friend. But if I walk around the street... I, no, we cannot find a friend, right? Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I had an idea. Uh, um, I searched S- SNS. I searched um, Japanese people who live in New York City who knows about the like music in the street. I sent all of them about like I want to sing. What can I do? I, <laughs> I want to see what can I do. They one of the. The person, she sends me back, I know one amazing vocal vocal coach, so you should go. And I, okay. Then I go. Then I met amazing, amazing, amazing vocal coach. So, like, I, then I thought, okay, I came to New York City to meet him, to, to, to he taught me music, like, everything. Mm. And he, uh, he gave me a chance to... Uh, go to the Apollo Theater Amateur Night. Mm. So, so let's talk about that. So you end up at the Apollo Theater Amateur Night at the Apollo Theater, which is notorious mm-hmm. for being a very difficult crowd. Yes. And not only did you make it, but you went all the way to the finals. Like you, 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 you hung in there. <laughs> you hung in there. Yes. Talk to me about that experience as an artist. What is what is that like? Uh, but at that at that time, I was taking the lesson um, every week. I practiced every day for for uh, I sang uh, Apollo Theater at at last by Eric James. Mm. I practiced three months for for sing just one song. So for me it's like it, it wasn't like an artist. I was like a, a samurai. Like I'm going to to um to fight on the stage at the Apollo Theater. Wow. <laughs> and it was a big challenge for 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 my life. And um when I on the stage I felt the power of like history of the the Apollo Theater, and um, I did my best, and I glad that audience love my love my sing, and yeah. I got second place. Yeah! Wow! <laughs> wow! That's incredible. Let's talk about your vocal coach just mm-hmm. for a moment, and then we're gonna get into your first song. Can you tell me like the one thing that that he taught you that you think is is probably most important mm-hmm. uh, to to the way that you perform and the way that your career is progressing now? Okay. Uh, he taught me uh, if you are, if you wanna be a professional singer, you have to learn how to express your feeling, not just like, um, I'm put my soul into the song, so you should feel it. You No, you have to learn how to do it. And uh, if you learn and make it perfect, then maybe people are going to feel it. So you have to be perfect and you have to be very um, hard work to make your skill better. Okay. All right. Yes. So. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see how that worked out for okay, you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to perform a few songs for us, but let's start with the first one. So, what are we going to hear first? So, I'm going to sing um, At Last, oh. which I sang at the Polo Theater. Good. Yes. Okay. My 
That was incredible. Thank you. Oh my gosh. And uh, now Yoshioka, it's on the album The Light, yes. right? Which is out now. Wow. I just kind of feel like I have to take a moment after that. That was incredible. Oh, thank you that so much. That was beautiful. Much. Okay, so let's talk about this this album that you yeah. have out. It's a beautiful album. Like I said, it feels good, mm-hmm. which is actually the, the title of the first song. But it feels good from like <laughs> yes. the front to the back, the, the top to the bottom, mm-hmm. which is very rare these days oh. with albums because, you know, folks are releasing singles mm-hmm. but not full pieces of work. So congratulations on being able to do that. Um, talk to me about, do you write? Do you write some of your songs? Or? Uh, this album, mm-hmm. uh, only I wrote uh, The Light. The I, Light, okay. Yes. Well, I, I like to always ask artists mm-hmm. about their songwriting process. Mm-hmm. So what comes first for you? Because obviously English is not your mm-hmm. first language. Yes. So do the lyrics come first? Do you hear the melody? Do you collaborate? How does that work? Um, I, ra- I wrote uh, from my own ex- life experience. So when I wrote The Light... I wanted to express um, my life story. Like I said, um, I've been through a dark place, but the music was the only hope in my life. So I put my, um, I wanted to say, if I could find a little hope in my life, I could make it. So that's the song, The Light. Mm-hmm. So, and um, I'm not perfect. I collaborate with uh, an amazing artist, uh, Sherma Rouse from Netherlands, mm-hmm. and I ask her to, I ask her that I want to express I'm, I am not perfect, but I really want to love myself because nobody is perfect, and if we, if we could love ourselves just the way we are, amazing things will happen in our lives. 
So if we won't um, accept ourselves, then no, no life. What what is the life about? Yeah. So I wanted to to write about. Uh, I'm I'm perfectionist, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I wanted to love myself just the way I am. That's that's why. I, uh, yes. So did you all get together in the studio? Nowadays, one person will be over here, and the mm -hmm. other person will be across the planet and then they're skyping each other do you actually work with the people in person in studio oh we did both okay okay <laughs> so when i work with the uh, shirma rouse uh we went to the netherlands and uh, we put in the uh we did the um recording together with the band and the vocal and everything but when we had the um I collaborate one more artist who is uh, Brian Owens. Mm -hmm. He's an um, amazing, talented songwriter, too. Mm -hmm. And he's from uh, St. Louis. And we did a Skype call. Okay. <laughs> and I did a uh, recording in Japan, too. Mm -hmm. And I work with the Japanese band, too. So basically, this album we recorded in Netherlands and Japan and, and America. Okay. Let's let's talk about obviously you are an incredible live performer. Oh. I mean, I'm I'm hearing you. You sound beautiful live. Um, do you prefer performing live to studio? Or are you more comfortable working and and uh, being part of the creative process in the studio? Live, working? live. Yes. Yeah. Because perf in, it's 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 my everything. It's. I would love to go to to artist performance, and uh, I love to do. I love to sing on the stage too. It's a very special moment. I love recording, but I, when I recording the songs, I always think about how can I can I do this song in the live. And I always think okay. that way. Yes. All right. Well, I would like to hear another ah. cut if you would. Okay. So now, what are we gonna hear? Now, uh, it's a new song. It's not in the album, but. Okay. Um, it's it was written by Mr. Gordon Chambers. Wow. And okay. I, I asked him to to wrote about I really uh love my mother and I wanted to thank I wanted to show my mother my thankful feeling and he wrote this song for me. Okay. okay. Hey! 
Now, Yoshioka inside the Soul Lounge. That was beautiful. Thank and you. I hear a little bit of um, gospel influence yes. there. And I read that out of like 40,000 artists, you were part of the, the McDonald's Gospel Fest, was it? And you became, you were a finalist in that. Yes. <laughs> well, so, <laughs> okay, so we talked about like Sam Cooke sort of being your soul mm -hmm. influence. Mm -hmm. Who influenced you in terms of gospel? Or was that something that you discovered after spending time here in the state? Um, I think um, the first influence was Sister Act. Okay, right. Yes. You did mention that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's why I put the song into the into the album. Um, why should I be discouraged? Why should the shadows come? You know, yeah. His eyes on the sparrow. Mm -hmm. And but the after I moved to New York City. I think Yolanda Adams. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, She'll I still listening it. her her music before the live show because her song gave me so much power and and she gave me yeah she made me trust that I can do this. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yes. Interesting. Well, uh, let's talk about some of the people, though, then that, that you would want to work with in, in the future. Okay. I mean, you know, let's just say Alicia Keys is watching, you know, okay. <laughs> you want to put in your bid now okay. or if there's someone else that that you really look mm -hmm. forward to to possibly collaborating with. OK, there is a uh, so many amazing artists. I could say Alicia Keys and Yolanda. Aretha, mm. but if I pick one, mm -hmm. I, I, I would say D'Angelo. D'Angelo. I'm big fan of D'Angelo. <laughs> I could hear that. I really. I could hear that. Yeah, I that covered. Very interesting. Oh, thank you. I covered his song. Uh, I want some your brown sugar and uh, the higher. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. I love the song. And uh, he he just came to Japan to perform uh Summer Sonic. Mm -hmm. The Summer Sonic is one of the biggest music festivals in Japan. And he was absolutely amazing. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it was my first time to see his performance, but what? Wow. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. He's good. I could hear uh, I could hear his like a ne neo soul kind of side of his his voice. And James Brown, like mm -hmm. one time, bad, then two times, bad, bad. it was fantastic. So I have so many questions. I will, I would love to ask him. Like, how can you? Uh, how could you direct to the band? Uh, how can you like make the music? It's yeah, he is a consummate performer. Yeah, yeah, he definitely is, and yeah. it's good to have him back because it had been a while since mm -hmm. we've seen and heard mm -hmm. from D'Angelo. So it's good to have him back. <laughs> All right, well, before we uh, go into the last song, I have three questions yes. that I ask every artist. Yes. Okay, these are very easy questions. You'll probably be able to answer. <clears throat> um, imagine you are at home. Yes. 
just kind of relaxing, maybe cleaning up, doing laundry, something like that. What are you listening to at that time? What What's playing in the background? Um, um, Danny Hathaway, She's My Lady. Okay. Yes. Okay, Donny Hathaway. Yes. Okay, you are a soul sister, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> um, let's say uh, you know, you're 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 you and, and your significant other have a nice Friday night date, you're trying to set the mood, it's very mm -hmm. romantic. Okay. Who do you put on? Um uh, Maxwell um uh, Fortunate. Okay. Fortunate. Yes. <laughs> I love this song. I covered that song too. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then um, I think you've probably already answered this, but in case there's another song, when you're feeling down yes. and you need to, to, to some some encouragement or to be lifted, mm -hmm. who who or, or what are you listening to? Um, it, it, this is the most difficult question because mm -hmm. when I most of the time I listen to music is when I down and when I become weak, I listen to music. So. Um, Yolanda Adams, Never Give Up, and Ruben Stoddard, Unconditional. Mm, wow. Now, this has been great. Thank you so much. I really appreciate uh, you coming all of this way to sit down with us. You have an incredible voice. Again, now Yoshioka. The album is called The Light. It is available now, so make sure you get a copy. And I would love if you would take us out with uh, another song. Okay, thank you. All right. um, the last song I would like to sing, Make the Change. I believe in music. Music has a power. And the music can um, be on the culture and language and even race. So I'm here to make the change. So last song I would like to sing, Make the Change. We've got it.